foundation of what we buy together and of how we help free the millions of other disabled folks who have not yet come out will be political. And the philosophy that we have developed together, which is a fundamental positive belief that everyone has a future. We recognized very early that the number one precept of independent living had to be that we had to teach ourselves how to fight. We had to learn the rules of rehabilitation, of welfare. We had to learn better than the agencies knew them. All the programs that have been set up really aren't the most important factors. They help us survive, but when we help each other, when we model for each other, when we recognize that peer counseling, peer modeling, the kinds of things that we can do together, the kind of positive attitudes that we've developed, and the kind of future that we're beginning to develop for all of, all of us and the folks that are going to come along, that's the most important thing. few of us got a whole lot without having real grassroots organization. Uh, that we don't have the organization yet to hold what we've won over these last few years. And I've redoubled my effort, and I know that a lot of you have, to go out and involve more people. I urge you as leaders in the movement to be leaders in the political movement as well. To hold our political leaders accountable. Let's support those folks that have gone out front for us. If we're going to turn this thing around, we're going to have to get our people out to vote. And we're going to have to educate them. And we're going to have to figure out how, what kinds of pat voting patterns they have. Not just register them, but educate them, and then vote in blocks, and begin to make some difference in elections. And that's possible now. It may not have been so much in the past. There's a lot of consciousness now. And I really believe that we can win some elections for folks. <laughs> When there's maximum danger, when our programs are in the most jeopardy, there's also maximum opportunity to make changes in them, to fight for what we know we need, uh, to make them more responsible to the needs of our people. Uh, and let's take advantage of that. Let's figure out some alternatives. Let's not just be naysayers. We're going to develop leadership that has a fundamental difference, and that is it's inclusive. It believes in people and in our strengths together, and that we are going to change our society, and that that severely and profoundly disabled person is going to come back into our community, and when they do, there will be an independent living center there ready to help them find housing. To help them learn how to fight for themselves, and then to join us. Together we'll form a movement that'll be unbeatable. Literally unbeatable, because it combines that, the values that we believe. That are under, I think, under all of this bullshit. People really do believe that government has a role play in helping those who have great need. And 
want to be sure that we link nationally. We don't forget that our linkage is our strength and that we can support each other, that we can learn from each other. And just the interest that I see around the world, the interest in the disabled movement, there are going to be millions of other folks around this world that are going to join us in this. And we're going to see a lot more free folks. We're going to see folks taking their places. We're going to see folks in leadership positions in government and industry. And when a young person becomes disabled or is born with a disability, we're going to see all kinds of folks around them that have succeeded. And have recognized that you can take control of your life. And you can be independent. But we're all tremendously interdependent. And that, well, I can reach out and help someone else. And doing that, it helps me tremendously. And I'm stronger for it. I feel real reflective tonight because it's a, as I look out over the audience and I see so many folks that I don't know that are now so heavily involved in this whole process of independent living. I think back to some of the folks that have died in the process of fighting for freedom. And, uh, died because of lack of information of doctor doctors have or ignorance on the part of public. Uh, and I think of those, those uh, heroes of the revolution that each of us can remember in our struggles for our own independence. And I think we need to learn how to celebrate more. We get awfully pessimistic in the process of uh, these fights which become fairly dirty at times and which have so much importance for the future of our, our people. <laughs>